Welcome to another Tableau tutorial video. Today I want to show you how to compare a particular item to the average, the group average. And we're going to have to use the fixed function to do that. What I have is I have a lot of sighting, UFO sighting data across the country. And what I want to do is to be able to compare the number of sightings for a particular state to the sightings, the average number of sightings. This is my end result. You see the orange dot is the average number of sightings. And you can select different states. And you can see how many states or how many sightings for that particular state versus the average. Now, the way we're going to create that, come here. We're first going to pull over state under columns. And we're going to pull over number of records for each sighting is a record and now we have a bar one thing i is important we want to just look at one year just focus on one year in this case we're going to focus on 2014 it has a lot of sightings that year all right now to get that average what we want to do i'm going to actually show a reference line just so you understand what we're looking at. We're going to show the value. We're going to choose a line across the entire table, and it's the average number of records. So you see 139. So in order to actually calculate this, what we want to do, if we were going to calculate the average between these two records, is we need to calculate the number of sightings, 864, 198, and then divide by 2. So we have a function here. I've already calculated it out. This is using the, we're going to use, I'm going to just split this up so you can see it a little better. We're using the fixed function. So if you remember, fixed says disregard all the other filters, all the other, unless it's a context filter, all the filters except for this one here and just use this function, this aggregation. So what it will do is it'll say, ignore whatever state is selected, just pick the year 2014, and find the total number of records for 2014. And divide that number by the total number, we're gonna once again have fixed on year, and then we're gonna count the number of states. Now you'll see there's a plus one here, and I'm gonna show you why that is for in just a second. Well, what this is going to do is essentially it's going to take all the columns and divide it by all the number of states. And the reason that works is because if you had just two states, it would add the two values, number of sightings, divide by two. If you can see over here, this is the, this is the cross tab, has all the states, although it's not just states, it's Canadian provinces too, provinces as well, and null. Null shows up, but it does not get counted because there's no data there. So that's why we do the add one. I'll show you once again. So that's why we do the plus one. Now we're going to bring the state average over under rows as well. It's going to give us a dual. You can see it's the same value across all states, which is what we would expect. We're going to change this. We're going to make this dual axis. Um, we still want to still make this bars. And then we're going to make convert this to synchronize. And look at that. It's right on the line. Now watch what happens. We're actually going to change this from single. We're going to do a multi list. Watch what happens when I get rid of the null. The orange bar, the orange dot, you can see that state, state average is 139, but the average for the pane is still 136. That reference line is just the average of those that are being viewed. So let's try to get rid of California. That's a big one. So now you're starting to see, now let's get rid of Florida, and now you'll start to see that the average for the pane, the average is just what is visible, 
but because we used that fix function, because we used fixed, we're disregarding all the other filters except for the year. We're taking the total number of records for that year and dividing it by the total number of states plus one to account for the null. Now you can just simply change this to a single dropdown, and there you go. You'll get want to get rid of the reference line. You get rid of this. And now you have a item where you can com easy, quickly compare the state with the average.